And we're going to talk about now, um, t- uh, sh- it was Tyler. We said Tyler. Tyler. <laughs> Tyler Santos against Joanne Wood. Boo. Uh, yeah. Uh, and the, the, it was a, the, uh, in terms of the fight itself, there's not too much to talk about because she took, she handled, uh, t- Tyler handled Joanne pretty quickly. Uh, but the reason I want to talk about is because after Santos's last fight against Modafferi, which was what, like, like a month ago, two months ago at most, uh, we w- we were talking about her then, and I think I think we have a clip of it out. We were talking about her then, and we were saying that in the flightweight division, among people that Valentina has yet to fight, I think Tyler poses the greatest threat. Absolutely, not saying she's necessarily going to be the champion, but with what she had, who she has not faced. I think it's clearly this is her biggest threat. Uh, eight, what is she now? Eighteen and one, nineteen and one. Now, um, she hasn't fought the stiffest competition. Nineteen and one. Yeah, hasn't fought the stiffest of competition. But let's also be honest. Like in each women's division, it's super top heavy, super top heavy. After like the first three, four, you have a bunch of people that are just ranked because there's no one else to throw in there. Um, so I don't want to like oversell her victories, but at the same time. In what in her victories, she's looked very dominant. Like she went to decision with Roxanne Modafferi, but she was dominating Roxanne Modafferi. Well, she's uh, let me just to cut you off. She's <clears throat> been going to decision ever since winning the contender series. So she went to decision in a contender, and she's gone to decision in every single one of her USC bouts up until yesterday's bout, which is good because yeah. you want to see a finish, especially yeah. if you're talking about going up and fighting Shevchenko. Mm-hmm. You're gonna need a. Well, I would hope that you would finish her and it wouldn't just be like a 25 minute hug fest. You yeah, know what I yeah. Mean? Uh, so for, this was nice to see. And of her 19 wins, uh, I believe 12 are first round finishes. 12 or 13 now after this fight. It's something like that. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a very AFC, impressive number. XFCI. I mean, that's impressive for anyone. Um, and again, she looks super dominant yesterday. So I don't know. I'm trying to think when that might happen. Because I don't think many people know who she is, Santos, um, which is unfortunate. But I think that will be temporary. Uh, and again, this was a pretty quick turnaround. She fought almost two months ago. Uh, and she took no damage in this fight that I remember seeing, as long as there's nothing hidden coming in. Um, so if they can turn her around quickly again and just get her. Because she's big, too. Yeah, she's uh, big how, big how tall too. is she? She looks pretty. Like, I feel she's probably. She's 5'6". She like, no way. Really? Mm-hmm. She five, looks six. so much taller. Oh, so she's about Bing's height then, um, Valentina's. She looks so tall. I don't know why. Um, yeah, so somehow fast track that because why are they talking about Valentina and Amanda? Partly because they want to, how competitive the fights were and they want to see the third one. But also who the hell else are either of those two supposed to fight at this point? There's no one in their respective divisions. Yeah. Like they've already gone other. through the gamut. Make them fight each other. Yeah, we've talked about this. Just have them best of 10. Just keep them right until they retire. Yeah, just do a catch weight Once somewhere. a year, yeah. Once a year, they fight each other. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're, you're planning on retiring the division. Is that what you're doing? <laughs> yeah, that, well, that's what, uh, they, they, that's what they were asking Dana. Um, last week after uh, Felicia Spencer beat whoever that girl was, she, she beat, sorry, I don't remember her name. Um, it was, she dominated her, but it was again boring. Uh, and they were kind of asking like, Hey, like what's, what's going on? What's going to happen with that division? And, um, I think uh, what he, what Dana said was, it's, it's just uh, entirely up to Amanda. <laughs> like if Amanda just says like, screw it, then I'll show like, that's the end of the division. I had no idea, but if that's the case, he said it a couple times. so much pull. Holy crap. Dude, Cause there's no, there's no ranking for the featherweights. Go on the UFC website. It just shows Amanda's face. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. That's true. That's <laughs> for the true. feather, not the band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I don't know. And then, and then they talk about, oh, Kayla Harrison coming. It's like, okay, if Kayla Harrison comes, she's big. She fights at one. She was fighting at 155 in um, PFL. She comes here. She's not going to fight at 135, I can't imagine. So at 145, what are we going to do? Best of 10, Kayla Harrison, Amanda Nunes. So it's, it's, a, it's in a very um, weird position, that division. So that's why I say, given that Santos has shown something, like, okay, at least there's maybe someone we can see Valentina fight that she hasn't already fought. So that's what I'm kind of looking forward to most. And I think le- I think it legitimately would be a very fascinating matchup because Santos has the strength. She has the ability on to, you know, maybe defend Valentina's uh, takedown attempts. Or if she gets to the ground, maybe defend it off. I think that could be a legitimately a competitive match. And especially, you know, if we see maybe one or two fights of Santos and assuming she wins, like, what, what, what do you have to lose at that point if you're Dana? Like, 
We, we just fought. We just saw what she did to Lauren Murphy for like almost five rounds. Like, come on. Like, if that's what we have to throw at Valentina, we, we may as well be like, all right, fine. Let's have, let's have Santos go once, maybe twice at most, as long as she wins. Throw her to Valentina. And Valentina's not going to say no. She I fights mean, anyone. Yeah, exactly. She's, <laughs> she has no one else to fight. Yeah, you know, what is she gonna, supposed to do? You want to get money, you're going to have to fight anybody the UFC tosses it, It's way. It's unfortunate that that's the position they're in, but um, that's, know, that's just what it is. So whatever. I mean, so again, good for Santos, uh, especially, you know, getting that first, like you said, first finish yeah. in the UFC. That's, that's big. Yeah, and then the way she did that. it too. Very dominant.